Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 91. Inside this video, we will see the concept of pagination inside Laravel. So if I back to browser, here we have the blogging website. Inside this blogging website, we have an article over pagination. That article from scratch and it has covered all the steps that we need to integrate pagination inside Laravel. So we will follow that article to create pagination tutorial. So go here inside these articles, click on Laravel 8, go here inside this search bar and let's see that pagination in Laravel. So if I press enter, now here as we can see that here we have an article. So if I click on that article, go inside this well documented and inside this as we can see that we have all the steps like from installation up to application testing. So what we will do, we will cover all the topics inside this single video. So if I scroll down, let's say that first of all we need to create an application of Laravel. So I will copy this composer command back to terminal, pasting it here. Let's say that we, are, we will create the application with the name something called pagination underscore app. Now if I press enter, we, we need to wait for a while because it is going to create a Laravel setup and as we can see that from installation it is installing all about Laravel 8.5 version. Now if I back to our article, after installation, we need to create a database as well as we need to connect this database with the application. So let's create a database inside this. So either we can create this via this command or simply let's create or click on databases and I will create a database with the name let's say pagination underscore app. So click on create button. Right now inside this database we don't have any table application created successfully. So if I go here, this is the folder what we have created means this is the application setup. So if I open this setup inside this VS code, now here we can see that we are currently inside this VS code and here is the application. Go inside this .env file. Inside this .env file stands for environment variable files. Here we have the connection for the database. So the database name is something called pagination underscore app. Username in my case is something admin, admin at one two three. After connecting this database to this application, now next we need to do means we need to create a migration file. So here is the command. So if I copy this command is going to create a product table means it will provide a product schema which is going to create a product table inside this database. So if I copy this command, go to terminal, pasting it here, pressing enter and first of all actually we need to go inside this pagination app and inside this setup if we run this command then it has created a migration file with this name. Back to editor, go inside this database migration and here is our create product stable migration file. So as we had discussed inside this course all about the concept of migration file and all about the concept of up method and down method. So here inside this up method we will create a schema or we will set the schema for product stable. So here inside this blog article, here is the complete code of migration file. So I will copy and pasting it here. So inside product stable, we will have a IT column, name, slug and description. We don't need actually any timestamps values. We will make it as false inside model in seconds. So if I back to blog article, after creating migration, now we need to migrate all migrations inside this database. 
So right now we don't have any table. Go inside this terminal. Simply type the command called php artisan migrate. And here as we can see that all the migrations of application now migrated inside this database. And here we have a products table what we have created. Inside this table we have the columns called name, slug and description. This is the IT column which is a primary key and auto incremented. Back to blog article. Now next we need to create a model so I will copy this command. These all syntax actually we had discussed inside this Laravel course. So simply I will copy, go to terminal and running this command called php artisan make model product. It will create a file called product.php inside app and models folder. Here currently we are inside this product.php and as we know that this file is pointing towards products table and inside this products table we don't have any timestamp values. So we need to tell this model that we are not using timestamp table means timestamps column inside your table. So for that we need to add a public timestamps variable. So I will copy, go inside this model and pasting it here. Back to article. Now next we need to create a factory file. So what is the use of factory file here? Inside factory file we will write a piece of code which is going to dump the dummy data inside our products table. So let's say that we are going to create a factory file which is going to point towards this product model and this product model is pointing towards our products table. So if I pasting it here, pressing enter, factory created successfully, it will go and store inside this database, factories and here we have product factory. Now inside this definition method, we need to update and write the code which is going to create dummy data for products table. So if I back to blog article, now inside this definition, we are writing all the columns called name, slug and description. For all these columns, we want the values for this products table. So what I will do, simply I will copy the whole code of this factory file, go and pasting it here. This is all the code for product factory. Now next, we need to run this factory file to create dummy data inside this table. So for that, we need to use PHP Artisan Tinker. What is Tinker? By the help of Tinker, we will connect our application via cell interface. So if I back to terminal, let's say that PHP Artisan Tinker pressing enter. Now we are currently inside this cell terminal. So simply inside here we need to run this command and this command is simply app models product. This is our product model path. So by the help of this model we are running its factory which is going to create 500 products means dummy products into table. So if I copy this whole command go here, pasting it here, simply by the help of this product model, we, we are calling its factory file means product factory and this factory is going to create 500 dummy rows and will insert inside product table because this create method is going to insert into table. So if I press enter, we need to wait for a while because total number of rows equals to 500. So it will take like few seconds and as we can see that total number of rows equals to 500 created and hopefully it will be inserted inside this table. So right now inside this table we have if we go and convert into descending order now total number of rows equals to 500. Now in the next step we need to create our application route which will list all these products into a like into a screen and create some pagination links. So first of all we need to add at the header. 
So copy this first line, go inside this web.php. Web.php will find inside this, inside routes folder. Pasting it here. This is all about product controller we are importing and we haven't created so far, so we will create in a moment. So first of all, we need to add, add this header. Now next, we need to create a route, means something products, which is calling the index method from this product controller class. So I will go pasting it here. Now next, we need to create the controller file. The same repeating command called php artisan make controller product controller. So first of all, we need to go outside of this artisan tinker, pasting it here. Controller created successfully. All the controllers will go inside this app, http controllers, and here we have product controller. So inside this product controller, we need a index method. So if we back to article, here we have the index method. So if I will copy the small code or copy the whole code of, code of this controller, go inside this file, remove and pasting it here. Now inside this product controller, we are importing our product model. And here, by the help of this product model, we have called a paginate method, which is going to fetch only 10 number of records apart from 500 rows. By the help of this paginate method, it will pick only 10 number of rows, store inside this data variable and send here inside this products view file. Now next, we need to create a products.blade.php inside this resources and views folder. So products.blade.php. Now inside this file, what I will do if I copy all the code, go and pasting it here. All we have done. If we go and scroll down, now next, link paginator to use bootstrap. So while implementing this point, let's see that what actually we have created. So php artisan serve. Now if we go and open this link inside our browser, go here and if I type products. Now here inside this table, as we can see that we have a table. Inside this table, we have an ID column name, slug and action. This is a table means bootstrap table what we have implemented here and inside this t body simply we have used a for each directive to loop over or iterate over this data variable which is containing 10 number of rows and by the help of this data means data array we have iterated over each row and by the help of this value means each product we have fetched id name and slug value now inside this view file, here we have used data and links method. So by the help of this data links, we have created a link called previous and next. So when we click on this next, as we can see that inside this URL, we are getting page equals to two. It means we are on the second page and the number of rows from 11 to 20. Now again, if we click on this next, as we can see that page number 3 and we are now from 21 to 30. So successfully we have implemented the concept of pagination. Let's summarize one more time what we had done. All these things remain same because this is not a too much conceptual point because these are the things we had discussed. Only we need to understand about pagination is that simply we have fetched all the data by the help of this product model but only 10 number of rows so you for using this paginate method we haven't imported any package any library by the help of this model scope resolution operator we to use paginate method after getting this 10 number of rows stored inside this variable sent inside this view file and after sending here we have 10 number of rows but again we want from 21 to 30 31 to 40 means more data by the help of that 
we have created previous and next link buttons. If we want pagination number like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, so for that, we to link paginator to use bootstrap. So inside app service provider, which will be inside app providers, what we will do inside this boot method, simply add this line. So if I will copy, go here, inside this app, providers, app service provider, here we have boot method and simply I am pasting it here. Now first of all to use this paginator we need to import here. So if we go inside this file here is we need to import that so copy and pasting it here. Now if we save all these changes go and reload this page look at the changes what actually it has done. It has created instead of previous and next it has given a view like pagination numbers like 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this is the video guys we demonstrate about pagination in Laravel. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.